Hello, boys and girls. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to make the silhouette for our night sky. So in the last video, you learned how to blend the night sky. And I will include instructions as well for how to do this with paint. But we did it with crayon just because I know that most kids have crayons. OK, so if you don't have paint, that's fine. You can do it with crayon and you can make something beautiful as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make um, the silhouette um, and a very easy one that you can make uh, if this is your first time doing this um, is you can make kind of like a Christmas tree or an evergreen tree effect against the night sky like the pictures that you looked at in the other slides. So one way to do this is you could use a pencil or you could use a white crayon. All right. So let's see if the pencil shows up here. I'm just going to do evergreen trees. You could do any kind of tree that you want. You could do a mountain. You could do a cabin, um, a house, anything that you think um, you would see a silhouette of against a night sky like we've seen in the pictures. So I want to see if you can see this up here. I'm just going to make, I think you can, yeah. I'm just going to make a Christmas tree or an evergreen tree. Either one is fine. I'm going to cut this out. Okay, so first I'm just going to draw it with pencil. If you can't see with pencil, what you could do is you could draw with white crayon you wanted to. Actually, I might even be able to cut the two of these out together. Okay. So you can connect them together. They don't have to be separate. Uh, that's all up to you. You can go back and look at some of the slides in nature and you can see. Now, another example that I might do is I might do a kind of like a cabin. Maybe there's a cabin against this beautiful night sky. Maybe it has a chimney. Okay. Or you could do some trees. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe another one that we could do is maybe there is a maybe it's more of a city scene and there are different buildings and skyscrapers and things against the night sky okay that's all up to you all right so you decide on your construction paper um, what kind of scene you would like to do against the night sky now, if you don't have black construction paper, that's fine. You know what you could do? You could just use white paper and you cut out whatever design that you like and color it black. That's an easy way to do it, okay? So what I'm gonna do just for a demonstration is I am going to cut out the evergreen or the Christmas trees to place against the night sky because I think that's going to look kind of cool. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these out, and you can do whatever you like. You do not have to copy mine. I love seeing your imagination and everything that you dream of and that you come up with. So that's a wonderful thing about art and about music. It can be completely, completely, completely your own. Okay? It doesn't have to be like anybody else's. It is your world where you are free to be whatever you like. Free to think whatever you like and free to create whatever kind of a world you would like to create. I kind of like this. I have my two trees together here you can make whatever you're gonna make whatever your silhouette is you can make it however you like it
Now, when you cut, when you're all done, you may want to kind of flip it over so that you don't see any of your white crayon or any of your pencil marks. But if your white crayon and your pencil marks are light enough, you might not have to flip it over. And you can twist your paper whatever way you like when you are cutting it. Whatever works easiest for you. Okay, take your time cutting, make nice, clean, smooth lines. If you need someone to help you, have somebody help you. Okay, so these are all my scraps. These are going to go away. Now, I still see a little bit of white on this side, so I think I'm going to flip mine over like this. But just for example, when you have your night sky finished, then you're going to fill up the whole bottom half of your paper with silhouette. And when you have a silhouette, you're going to get some glue and put it on there. And then you can glue your silhouette right down to the paper so it's against your night sky. Okay? So it's going to look pretty beautiful when it's all done. I'll bring my silhouette down a little bit. So you can fill up the whole bottom part of your paper with different types of silhouettes. And actually what we should do too is now that I'm seeing this like this, maybe we can bring some of this letter C down a little bit lower, maybe a little bit more than halfway. so that when we place our silhouette over it, we get to see the nice background of the sky. Okay, so you would take a lot more time than what I'm doing right here. I'm just trying to give you an idea about how you can do this. Okay, so remember, as we're moving towards the moon, we're getting lighter and lighter and lighter until you can barely see it, okay? So I think that the reason why I had uh, the paper folded in half was so you know where to put the moon, okay? But you can bring your sky down further. That way, when you get some glue and you go to cut out your silhouette shapes, and you put your silhouette shapes, you glue them and you stick them down, you put your silhouette shapes, you are going to get a beautiful black silhouette against a beautiful winter sky. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I am looking forward to seeing your artwork. I can't wait to see what you're going to do. Please make sure that you put your artwork on Dojo and do the checklist so you can earn extra points. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.